Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another video from my Play High series. You all love these videos, so I just keep making them. We are doing a Christmas video this week. We are going to use the tune Joy to the World. It's one of my favorite Christmas tunes and I think it'll go really well with this series. So today we're just gonna get right into it. So if you'd like to take more of like a trombone lesson about how to play high, this is for trombone or any brass instrument, you can go watch my video from last week. I kind of take you through all the fundamentals and the basics of how to play higher on a brass instrument, as well as I tell you about what I like to think about when I'm playing in the high register. So go check that out and then come back over to this video and we'll get to it today. So like all these other videos, we'll take the melody and we'll take it up one half step at a time to work on our high register. I'm gonna have the sheet music down below so you can read along both on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. I did a poll to see if you guys preferred leaving the melody in bass clef the whole time or you wanted to switch over to tenor clef when it gets high. I polled everyone and the results are in bass clef one. So sorry, tenor clef people. We're gonna be reading bass clef today. I will have all the sheet music all in bass clef and then switching over to tenor clef though over on my website. So you can go check that out over there at lisaliztrombone.com in my store. It will cost a few bucks, but that's just going towards my production of this video and my YouTube channel in general. So I have the PDFs over there as well as the track that you hear in this video. You can download that all over there. Stay tuned after the video and I'm gonna give a little mini lesson about transposition and how to learn these tunes by ear and be able to play them without any sheet music. One thing I wanna add before we get started is don't be afraid to take breaks. I always take breaks when I'm doing exercises like this. You'll see where I take my breaks in the video. Feel free to take a break there or go ahead and take a break wherever you need it. All you need to do is pause the video and then you can start again. Don't do anything that hurts. Don't jam the horn on your face. Just relax and have fun with this exercise. Here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, there you have it. We went all the way starting on B flat and all the way up to high F, which I think is a really good goal note for trombonists to have. So for this video, I included the sheet music down below because I know you all like that. And frankly, YouTube likes that. Um, I know that's a really popular thing on YouTube. I know I search for it too. We all love seeing the sheet music down below so we can play along. But I think sometimes that can be detrimental because it really is good for you to learn things by ear and to play without the sheet music. So to do that, it requires this thing called transposition, which isn't as scary as it sounds. Transposition just means that we're able to move a melody or a musical idea around to all the different keys. So we did that in this video today. We transposed the melody from Joy to the World up one half step at a time. So this is a really good tune to start with because it's actually super easy for transposing. So before you can transpose, you need to know all of your major scales or all of your keys. That's something you just have to know. So if you don't know that yet, go practice. <laughs> so what makes Joy to the World so easy is it just uses the major scale. So let's just think of our C major scale. So we all know the notes to that C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So in Joy to the World, we go down the major scale, right? Super easy. So another thing I like to think of when I'm transposing is instead of thinking of the scale all the time is you think of the numbers. So for instance, Do or C is always gonna be number one. And then we go from there. So this first scale is going backwards, right? We're going down the scale. So, and essentially it's one, and then we go down. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, I can't sing that low. <laughs> All right, so just think of those numbers. And then the second part, we are going to start on the five of the C major scale. So think about that for a second. What would the five be? It would be G. All we do is start on the fifth or G and then we go back up. <laughs> So now all you have to do is think about those numbers or the C major scale, the major scale, and then just move it up one half step at a time. Or you can move it around to any different key. Just think of those numbers. That way when you're transposing, you're not thinking note, 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 note. It's just the same pattern of numbers over and over. So after you've gone through and played this with the sheet music, challenge yourself and try to play it without the sheet music. That's what I always do. Um, I think it allows me to focus more on the things I wanna focus on, like building my range, listening to my sound, listening to my intonation. It's always great to get away from the sheet music and play things memorized. So try it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any other tips about transposition, let us know down below. All right, time for all the regular announcements. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 2000 subscribers, which is awesome. I was not expecting to hit that before the end of this year, but it looks like it might happen. So another thing I really wanna make happen before the end of this year, honestly, it's like all I want for Christmas is to get 4,000 watch hours on this YouTube channel. Once I hit that 4,000 watch hours, as you know, this channel will become monetized which is super exciting and it'll just make it easier for me to create better videos and to bring you more free videos here on YouTube. If you wanna take a trombone lesson with me or any kind of brass lesson, I am now offering lessons on Zoom. I do have room in my lesson studio. I will leave my lessons website down in the description. Come take a lesson with me. Another way you can support me and support the future of this YouTube channel is to join me over on Patreon and become a donor over there. My donors are awesome and I really appreciate all of their support and what they're doing for this YouTube channel. 
I think that's it. I have a trombone quartet Christmas arrangement coming out at the end of this month before Christmas. So I'm really excited about that and very excited to share that with you all. Next week, I have something a little different that I haven't done yet and I'm excited for that as well. So I will see you all then.